Hello, everyone. In a couple of days from now, from September 9th, to be precise, we are going to be experiencing the Mars retrograde. Now, Mars is the planet of motivation. This angry red planet, named after the Roman god of war, was found to have a surface resembling a planet which was devastated by war. But the fiery, hot-headed, quick-to-act image is not the complete astrological meaning of Mars. He represents our willpower, the energy possessed by our ego, that is the sun, that enables us to go after, gain and accomplish what we want. Mars is how we assert ourselves as individuals. Through Mars, we grow strong through challenge, competition and debate by being forced to confront the strength of our desires and dedication. Now, Mars rules the head and especially the face because that's how our expressions come across. He also rules weapons. So the keywords obviously becomes the masculine principle, the yang energy, by being assertive, leading the way, striving, igniting, taking up challenges, debating, confronting, having the courage to take action, acting independently, building that strength and resiliation to initiate, agitate, compete by using force, achieving and surviving. So what's the message that actually we get from Mars? It says, accomplish your goals without any personal compromise. Now, the planet changes zodiac signs every six weeks or so and goes retrograde every 26 months. Presently, Mars is going to go retrograde in Aries. That is the first house from September 9th to November 14th. You most probably will start feeling the effects a week to 10 days before. And even after the retrograde finishes, Mars is the ruler of Aries and Scorpio is considered a male or Yang energy. Hence, Mars retrograde is bound to affect Aries and Scorpions more strongly. Mars is also associated with sharp instruments like knives and swords. So do be careful with these during the retrograde period. The sharp objects are probably symbolic, indicating cognition, decision making, analyzing and classification as Mars is completely at home in the realm of the mind. During the retrograde, the mental faculties may be clouded or you could experience some kind of confusion. Now, during this period, keep in mind that getting into any kind of conflict will not be productive. Instead, focus on introspection. Delve deep into your inner psyche, or just plain, while away the days, listen to your favorite music, or spend time with friends, seeing movies. Now, when Mars is retrograde, you could experience feelings of frustration or unmotivated. Starting new projects is a real bad idea during this time, as you may experience difficulties. Feelings of anger, irritability, and frustration may rise up. Now, Mars' energy is actually useful to our lives as he gives us ambition, energy, and the impulse to act. So when he turns retrograde, we may miss that energetic feeling, even to the point of wondering if we are off color or unwell. Sometimes we can feel turbulent emotions bubbling up that are difficult to deal with. We could be feeling frustrated or out of sorts. Everyone around us is also affected by this retrograde energy. So if you argue, it will not add to be green. On a good day, the aggression of Mars helps us act assertively to make our dreams come true. But the petty fights, lowered sex drives, and a discouraging lack of ambition can also come up during this time, especially when we are all stressed out to begin with. It will be advisable for you to delay important decisions professionally or personally. 
relationships are bound to be difficult, giving way to unnecessary misunderstandings. Now, during the Mars retrograde, practice as much self-care as possible. Go easy on yourself. Do as much planning right now as you can. Organizing behind the scenes to get ready for a time when your efforts will pay off. And if you want to take advantage of Mars retrograde in the correct perspective, then spend time with yourself by focusing on what you really want. Even though the world is a bit chaotic right now, you can still try to stay calm and indulge only in safe activities with both your friends and lovers, such as a picnic in the park or watching the same movie together, but from a distance. Once the retrograde is over, you can work on implementing change, hands-on to get the results you've been dreaming about. Be prepared for uncertainties or feeling unsure about your own self. This is multiplied when it occurs as we are already dealing with the ongoing situations around us, especially the pandemic. When your energy levels drop, you may feel guilty and wonder what happened to your drive to save the world. It's still there, but just in a different form as your Mars side hibernates. It sounds very cliched, but remember that this too shall pass. During this retrograde, Questioning a relationship, job, or a political group that you usually feel connected with is going to just create confusions with you. Don't make any major decisions until it's over. Instead, use this period to reflect and take action after the retrograde ends. You could be questioning your relationships. You could be probably confused about the existing relationship and also feel insecure that it might break up. But honestly, if the relationship is going very, very bad, then chances are you will. So accept the situation, but don't force the situation. COVID-19 has actually put relationships of all kinds uh, under a microscope and plenty of people have parted ways. You, at this time, can reduce the chances of a Mars retrograde breakup by taking some time off for yourself to breathe and giving space to any situation that might be irritating you. If you do break up, the relationship wasn't going to last anyway. The cosmos just took care of it for you. During the Mars retrograde, it's a great time for reviewing situations. If you do feel anger vulcanizing up, try to deal with it in an appropriate and healthy way. Write down your feelings in a journal. Scream at some pillows or do some breath work. Breathing into the anger to see where it is really coming from. There's an original point of creation which has led to this anger. So try to get back to the root cause and try to get back that far in your mind so you get the insight as to why and what is making you really angry. It's likely that the current situation is just a trigger and not the real cause. Mars retrograde is a great time to review your life and check your general direction of where you are going, how is your health also. Are you going where you really want to go? Are you being the person that you really want to be? Are you doing what you want? Are you with who you want to be? Want to be with? Review your life. And when Mars turns direct, you'll be in a better place to make those changes. Take care of your physical health. Because Mars rules body heat, the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood, which depends on the iron, which is ruled by Mars, the immune response, adrenal function, and your inflammation. Internalized stress will be a major issue on health during these two months, making effective coping strategies important for all of us. This is a terrific time to work on replacing unhealthy coping patterns such as any kind of addictions, smoking cigarettes, eating uh, fast food, and drinking alcohol. In fact, place them with healthier habits like eating nutritious food, starting with your breakfast, meditating, and staying well hydrated. 
because it also affects your emotional health. Now, during this retrograde, Mars retrograde intensifies and concentrates the energy while directing it inward. Thus, we all tend to be hard on ourselves. Look, uh, look back at the past for insights into yourself, but try not to beat yourself up or take your frustration out on others. Don't define yourself by the worst thing you have ever done if other people do. The love and compassion towards your own self is very, very important. Open the door of friendship. Unburden yourself of old resentments towards others too. Extend the olive branches. If you don't want to extend them, just keep your calm. Open the doors of friendship. Unburden yourself of old resentments towards others too. Ask for help and reach out to others who may be struggling through this difficult period themselves. Mars represents strength and this is time to gather your strength and reinforce your position rather than burn up your reserves. Anything new that is postponed during the Mars retrograde is for the better. Most of the conflicts and challenges that appear during Mars retrograde will be very temporary. That's why you need to cultivate patience and stay focused on the long-term plans and goals. The best use of this time is to be patient, calm, wait, plan, and accept that compromises have to be made, which will eventually be rewarding in the long run. The delays and detours may turn out to be valuable for you as you discover something of worth along the way. This is an excellent time to go back over recent developments in your life with the aim of updating your goals and the methods of working towards those goals. You can make significant adjustments now that will improve your chances in the future. So this is the time to germinate your seeds, to work out the details and actions need to be taken after the retrograde period ends. So till then, stay blessed and stay tuned for my part two of Mars video, which will actually tell you how this Mars retrograde is going to affect each zodiac.